I love the fact that you just clicked on a video about a Barbie tape. But you know what? I may not be a Barbie girl in a Barbie world, but I did pick up the brand new soundtrack album to the Barbie movie on cassette tape for like $20, I think it was, on Amazon. There wasn't a whole lot of description, so I'm not sure exactly what we're getting into. But I have not purchased a new cassette tape since... Michael Jackson's History album back in, I think, 1996. And the reason why I bought that on tape was because I could not afford the CD, which is what I really wanted at the time. So I had to settle on the tape. And I have not purchased, I don't think, a brand new cassette tape since. So this will be very interesting. We are going to unwrap it, take a look at it. Uh, I got a cool boom box you haven't seen in a while on this channel that we're going to use to demonstrate it and take a closer look, see if we can find out who's making this thing and if it's any good. I think you're gonna enjoy this. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Okay. This is interesting. I'm really curious to see what the quality is like of a brand new tape these days. It looks like there are some liner notes, but this is some interesting physical media. It is cellophane wrapped or cello wrapped, and it's it looks like it's covered in a cardboard box, uh, sort of a sleeve, as you can see on the back here. Mattel, Water Tower Music, so Warner Brothers, part of Atlantic or vice versa. And from what I understand, Water Tower sort of handles the novelty stuff. So a lot of their vinyl stuff and, and things of that nature that fall under that Warner Brothers label. Nothing on the sides. We've got a pink cassette. Now let's see if there's one of those super handy little pull things to start unwrapping it. I don't see. Is this one? That's just where it's folded over. That's good enough. That's good enough. We'll use that and we will unwrap this thing. Very interesting to, to buy a tape for the first, wow, it's really tight. Really interesting to buy a tape new for the first time in oh so many years. It's been a long, long time. Okay, so this is sort of a semi-gloss covered box and the tape just comes out. The box is, I've never seen, I never got a tape with one of these before. Usually you just get the, this, this would be wrapped in, uh, in plastic, so. There we go, you guys. It's in a uh, what are these cases called? The, the, I know the 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 paper is called a J card, but I've never you know heard what the actual. It's not a jewel case. That's for CDs, right? So here we go. We got the album cover. Have you guys seen the movie? It's gross, like over a billion dollars, which is insane. I have not seen it. Probably won't. Uh, but the idea of the soundtrack album on cassette. Interesting. So yeah, the Amazon listing did not disclose too much information about what the product actually looked like. In fact, the cassette that they showed in the listing, I'll put a picture of it right here, looked more like a reflective, but it was plain. So I'm glad that they went with a more matte finish. This looks a little more purplish than I would think of typical Barbie pink being. But anyway, there is the cassette. Thoughts are that this is probably made by NAC in Washington. And, wa and NAC makes three tape types. They make, uh, they make a type one ferric, they make a type one super ferric, and then they make a type two cobalt. So I'm guessing this will be the basic uh, ferric, but we'll have to see. Also interesting that I've actually now purchased music by the likes of Mick Nicki Minaj, uh, who <laughs> Lizzo, and uh, Sam Smith, all, you know, fine artists in their own right, but, you know, not typically, B Billy Elish too, to not typically artists that I would go and purchase music of, but, you know, it's all part of the experience. Let's start with the, uh, I'm gonna make this as thorough as possible. Let's start with the actual uh, case that comes in. It seems like it's pretty brittle, like all of these really are, nothing special. Some of these, will ship slimline or I should say shipped in the past you would get some of the slimline case this is seems like the basic cheap one which is what I would expect there is the little catch before it closes see how it catches and then allows you to kind of snap it in it's the little things right definitely brittle uh, sometimes they also stamp 
the record label on the plastic case. This one doesn't appear to have anything. Also, it doesn't have the ridges. Do you remember when they would have like a texture on the sides? This is just thin, cheap, pure, clear plastic, you know, is what it is. This would break if it fell once, but that's okay. The J card, uh, on the other hand, looks pretty substantial. So again, we have the album artwork on a matte finish cover. On the spine there, we've got that. It says Atlantic Records, again, part of uh, Warner Brothers Music. I'm not sure if that's a catalog number down there. On this part of the card, we've got the uh, track listing, side A, side B, and a substantial inlay, which is pretty cool. So Barbie album soundtrack producers, all the movie stuff, pictures. That must have been a heck of a set. Can you imagine what that looked like? I wonder if that's the next thing to see on the Warner Brothers back lot. Okay, unfolding this. This is pretty sizable. I'm actually surprised to see this. I'm really surprised that they didn't just give you a cheap, you know, like this. Like this is what I would expect. Like maybe a picture and then cut it off right there. Single sheet kind of a deal. But no, they actually give you, you know, what we used to get when we would buy an album on cassette back in the day. We would get information about the song. Are there lyrics here? Is this just, I think that just credits, you know, band credits for each, no lyrics. So. Yeah, interesting. You can see the art in the background too, the white against the pink. Again, the pink kind of looks a little purplish to me, but who knows. A note from Greta Gerwing and Noah Baumbach. A note from Mark Ronson, pink. Oh, these are just credits for the song still. So there you go, there's the J card. Pretty substantial. Quality. Feels good. I mean, for what it is, I mean, what you would expect. It's a thick card stock, nice matte finish. And then you've got the tape itself. Um, it, it doesn't feel like a super high quality one. You'll notice there's no screws in the corners. So this is a snap together case, which would mean that it wouldn't be serviceable. So if you wanted to open it up for whatever reason and close it again, you would have to try and glue it and it would probably break. But that is indicative of the cheaper, you know, cassette shells that exist. It is pink though, so it, it's on brand. You can see the little um, metal plate in the background there and the tensioned pad. And we've obviously got a clear leader there. Clamshell construction. This is obviously a type one shell. And I, like I said, I'm guessing it's the basic ferric mixture, but it'll be interesting to see. We got the frosted printing on the glossy surface. Let me get uh, the appropriate tool and we will take a look at the actual tape uh, surface itself. I always get a chuckle out of uh, when people talk about the pencil, by the way, we are gonna be using a Ticonderoga uh, type two pencil. This is premium for my pencil connoisseurs out there. Ticonderogas are the best. Look at that. Just a high quality pencil. <laughs> I'm only half joking. I actually really love pencils, as weird as that may be. But they always say, well, you can't use a real pencil because it's too small or whatever. And then people are like, no, you have to use the special Chinese or Japanese uh, pencils. They're the ones that work. These work fine. All you gotta do, is stick it in and turn it. That's all, it was, I mean, all the real kids of the 80s and 90s knew this. You don't have to literally do it straight away. You just put it in and, you know, put it in an angle and then magic you can spin it just like that or use your fingernail which is actually what i did most of the time okay so there is our adhesive pad attached to our leader and we can take a look at this mixture i'm going to reformulate my shot by the way initial thoughts are that mixture looks really good that is a nice dark mixture and like i always say when it comes to magnetic tape the darker the better so that is by all you know appearances, I know it's impossible to tell just visually, but by all appearances, that looks like a high quality type one tape. So let's take a closer look, a much closer look. I wasn't joking, you guys thought I was joking. We're really taking a close look. So look at the surface of the tape as the light reflects on it. It is a nice dark mixture, like I said, and it's got a good 
sheen to it. There's a little bit, it's not a completely smooth finish. There's a little bit of texture there, which is a good thing. This is premium tape from everything I can tell. Obviously because it's new, there's no track marks from the head or anything like that. This was mass produced, obviously a high speed dub. Arguably you can get a better sound by making your own tape. We haven't even heard it yet, so I shouldn't judge it like that, but typically that's what folks would say about a pre-recorded tape. Okay, one other thing in terms of the quality I forgot to mention is, I don't know if anybody else did this besides me, but if you gently squeeze right here, you can feel on this tape that that's just flexible. Again, this is indicative of a cheaper tape. That means that the window itself is the slip sheet. So cassette tapes, unless they're the reel-to-reel -reel type cassette tapes, have a piece of plastic that is pretty much the you know height and width of the tape. It's a slip sheet and it gently uh, ha makes the tape conform to the left and right position that's required to keep a nice tightly packed uh, reel. And the cheaper tapes would just simply have an opening on the shell and let the clear sh uh, slip sheet be the window. Whereas higher quality tapes would have a plastic window that would be rigid. And so if you would squeeze here, you could feel, okay, yeah, that's a cheap slip sheet window. Again, may not impact anything else, but it's something I thought I'd point out. And making its long-awaited return here on Recordology is my beautiful early 90s CFD 55 boombox. This was the first good sound system that I ever, ever had. And I just love it to this day. I'm so thankful to still have one of these. It's beautiful. And if you don't think it's a cool looking boombox, you're just wrong. I mean, you don't really have the option to not agree with that. It works perfectly. It's got a good quality Sony tape mechanism. And I thought it would be a great opportunity to uh, demonstrate the tape on this machine, making its first Florida appearance, the beautiful Sony CFD-55. And I thought about doing a direct feed, but yeah, I'm just gonna use the boom box because you're not here to listen to the music on this tape. We're just here to analyze whether or not, you know, this is a quality recording and presentation of this music. So we've got it in tape slash off mode. I've got the tone control, remember those, at the 50% mark, so it's neutral and the volume will start off low. Let's go ahead and eject. This is a top down tape mechanism. Head is clean. Without further ado, I'm gonna play you some snippets from the Barbie album on cassette. Hey Barbie, hey, she's so cool. is Barbie's world and we're all just living in it because that sounded surprisingly good. I, you know, I didn't know what to expect, I guess, because I just hadn't bought a tape in so long, but it's a quality tape formula. The cassette itself is not the highest quality, but it's passable. It works. It's functional. It's on brand for what this is supposed to look like, considering the intellectual property. And, you know, it's a, it's a quality mastering job. It sounded good on my old Sony. So what did you guys think? Have you ordered your official Recordology 45 adapter yet? Check out the link in the video description below. All right, you guys, not the most practical way to consume your music, but I do think it's cool. I do think it's interesting. I wanna know in the comments down below, when was the last cassette you purchased and what was it? And would you consider buying another one Again, I think it's really cool. I've been on this sort of tape kick lately. And by the way, the We Are Rewind cassette player we recently reviewed is still doing great. Not a hair or a hint of wow and flutter on it. It just does such a good job. It's a fantastic device. So my friends, I wanna say thank you so very much. I appreciate you being there. Stay encouraged, keep the faith, and take care of one another. Most importantly, just thank you so very, very much for being you. But that, my friends, is going to do it for today. So happy record hunting, and we'll see you next time.